very welcome to you. We are here with 5th of July. It's called Blessing. Turning hopelessness into hope is what God is teaching us on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris. And hopelessness is in terms of physical things in our environment, whether we are able to achieve those goals or not. And some of them are internal goals. So if we achieve the internal goals, automatically the external goals are also taken care of. If you have doubt inside, then the work outside will also face issues and problems. Situations will come. If there is no doubt inside, then outer external situations will also become very comfortable and will be conducive and will work as per your thoughts. So God here says, may your intellect have faith and you will transform hopelessness into hope with the zeal and enthusiasm of victory. If you have unbroken faith, you are always victorious. But we say that our experiences are of failures, then how can we have unbroken faith? God says those failures were there because you thought of failure, you thought of how bad it can be. But now how good it can be if you think about it and how you'll be successful, then that also becomes a thought pattern, a belief, a nature, a character, a habit. So past nature, belief, character, habit were created out of negative thoughts. And now new belief, new character, new nature can be created of positive thoughts. It's a choice what you think. It's not about external things. It's not based upon what is happening around you. It's based upon what is happening inside you. So God says, constantly have zeal and enthusiasm of your victory and do not have any sanskars of hopelessness. We can have sanskars, means habits of hopelessness, by thinking of hopelessness many times. Experience any difficult task to be easy, as though it is not a big deal. Even if you feel that there's a hurdle and it's a very big task, how will we do it? Just make it easy. You have accomplished that task countless times before. You are not doing anything new. So let there not be any name or trace of hopelessness. Do not have any thought in your nature or sanskars to whether you will change or not. Do not have any question mark, do not have any doubt, because doubt again becomes a nature, it again becomes a habit to doubt ourselves every single time. And God says, please change those thoughts, otherwise you are programming your mind to be doubtful and you are going to create doubt and you are going to send out vibrations of doubt and that is what is going to come back to you and you are going to say, see, I told you, no? I am doubtful because it will be like this. And God says, what you doubt is going to come back in the form of doubt. If you have faith, it's going to come back in the form of faith. Then God says, do not have any thought in your nature or sanskars to whether you will change or not. You know, we sometimes in spirituality have that doubt whether I'll change or not, whether this habit of mine will grow or not, whether I'll be able to overcome this negativity or not, whether I'll be able to overcome this pattern of response which I do whenever a situation like this comes over. And God says, don't have that thought, otherwise you'll create a nature or sanskar. You are constantly victorious, that is what we should think about all the time. And God wants us to think about that all the time, that we are constantly victorious. Have that affirmation in our mind, countless, constantly victorious, I'm constantly victorious, I'm constantly victorious. And anything is possible, I've done it many a times in every kalpa, even if a situation looks bigger, I've still done it many a times. And this thought will help us transcend many borders. And that's what we learn from Akamari's. I'm sure I think this.